So today we were going to we were going to use these to make a video about finding golf balls. We're we're still going to do that, but using our phone. Well, I'm going to use my phone, and then you're going to probably use mine or my phone, my my camera. But this seems to have broken, and mine's on low battery. If you can see. Yeah. yeah, it's broken. So we're probably gonna use this, the my Sony thingy, this thing, and these things. Ta da! All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Good okay. <now. laughs> All right, let's go. So we decided to start the competition on the second hole. This spot is where I usually look for golf balls to sell and this competition is based on the price of the golf balls as if we were selling them. So at the end of it all, whoever is the best golf balls will be the winner. The Tyler's Pro V1s are worth $2, any other good ones are worth $1.50, and any others that are not as good are worth between $0.50 cents and a dollar. Okay, we're out here. It's extremely windy, so... John's gonna be on this side, on the right side. I'm gonna be over there on the left. Go! Oh. I have two so far. What have you been doing back here? At this point, I have six. Some like 20 right now. I have quite a few. I don't know how many he has. He's way over there. I'm like halfway down the fairway. It started to rain, and I found one since I last spoke to you. It's very windy, and I'm pretty sure he's more than me. I'm gonna call him and tell him get up here, because I'm by the green. He's still way down the fairway. Yeah. And then that's that's what 
flying on. And it's starting to rain. Yeah. I found some interesting things. Uh-oh. Right there. Right there. Two right there. This is on my side, so they're mine. <laughs> it's so windy! So, since we're doing this based off value, These are two dollars, and these are let's say one dollar, yeah. And then these, are, this is one dollar. So we're gonna add up the prices. Let's see what we get. It's pouring. So sitting in here. Hi. So in the end, I ended up with 12 golf balls, 6 Tyler's Pro V1s, 4 good others and 2 bad ones, which rounds up to $19. I found no colored golf balls in the end, which eventually made the difference. John on the other hand, had 19 golf balls. He had 8 Tyler's Pro V1s, 7 good others, 3 bad ones and a yellow one. We decided that in the end of the tournament, that all colored golf balls doubled the price of the $1.50 ones. This changed the price of his $1.50 golf balls from $10.50 to $21. This made the final price $38.50. This also meant that John wins!